Good day, good day! Welcome to Roverland! This is your friend Dan O on an unboxing Saturday. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, we got this. It's an unboxing without a box. Can you go? Can you get that, huh? All right, let's. Oh, hey, first. Hey, keep calm and carry on. Yes. Make sure you're doing that. We got to keep doing that. Keep, keep watching these videos. That's right. All right, where did we get this bugger from? Uh, I, I think this is another, yeah, there you go. Another eBay. Uh, Henderson. NV. Nevada. Yeah, okay, Nevada. But uh, the old Nevada there, yeah. That's uh, where uh, Las Vegas is. Los Angeles. All right, let's see what we got. Better put that away or that's going to cut you. All right, I got that. Sh what is going on? Oh, what kind of funny shipping? All right, that's... I think that's garbage. All right. What in the world do we got going on here? I don't even know what this is. What did I get? Oh, hey, check this out. Yeah. Picked up another one of these babies. Hey, let's focus here. Focus. Yeah, it's the Matchbox Land Rover 90. Can't get enough of these. So what the story is, as you all know, I do a lot of eBay shopping, especially during these quarantine times. Uh, $5, shipping included. Uh, I don't buy out of the states, uh, overseas, I don't do that. It's just too long to wait and it's a chance and all this. And by the way, I hear that uh, shipping across the, across the, abroad is uh, slowed down. Yeah, international shipping is horrendous right now. Uh, friend of mine uh, down in Australia, shout out to David there. He's waiting for packages from, uh, oh, I don't know, the uh, UK and that. Uh, nine weeks. Unbelievable. All right, let me see what I've got uh, to show you about these. You know, I still have to do the model review on this nice casting. I have not done a model review for the Land Rover 90. But I'm going to show you some more stuff, uh, what I have of the Land Rover 90 on this uh, beautiful unboxing Saturday, okay? So uh, let me uh, just grab some stuff here, and here we go. Oh, yeah. So check this out. Yeah, I've got this here. Do you guys recognize this at all? KLM. You know, I don't even know what that means. I have no idea what that means. Uh, yeah, but anyway, um, maybe you guys know what this is from. I'm waiting for the best to last. But anyway, I bought this off eBay. It was loose. Um, and uh, bam, there it is. Now, this was a kind of a hard one to get. It came in a play set, and I'll show you kind of what it looked like. But this is a nice minty, minty one. Uh, I paid, uh, I paid, I think I paid a pretty premium price on this. I think I broke the rules of my uh, $5. Yeah, I bought this for more than $5, but I, I got all these other pieces, which I don't know, I may sell them, I may keep them. It's kind of nice to have them all in the set, even though they're not on the cards. But the KLM uh, airport uh, livery ones. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Nice white with the uh, blue. And uh, so, yeah, that's uh, another thing that I got. Uh, just showing you something. So here, here you go. This is, I think it came in, in uh, this kind of a set here. The Sky Buster set. And uh, now this is another one. I have carded and, and I've got to get this stuff all together, uh, my uh, Land Rover 90s, but this is quite a neat little set here, yeah, a range of different sets to choose from, collect them all, but very, very nice. This is the uh, uh, RAF, as far no, Royal Navy, what am I saying, a RAF, holy cow, I'm going to get comments in the down below on that one. All right, so here you go. Also available from Matchbox Toys. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, not really promoting any Land Rovers on the back here, but that's all right. So here's the uh, box here. You can uh, kind of see the UPC and stuff like that. What is this? Uh, 
Ah, uh, we're gonna find the date on this one real quick. Probably not. I'm I'm so good at uh, finding dates on things. That's why I, of course, my milk is the only one that's uh, got a date. But anyway, <laughs> copyright 1990. Yeah, there you go. So I believe. Uh, so this set here, the the KLM, uh, came in a set like this. Yeah, big card and stuff like that. So uh, really, really kind of cool. Uh, another one that's uh, along the lines of this uh, Matchbox 90 uh, that I've got carded. Uh, I've, I got this one here. This one's sitting in a different cabinet. The card's a little bit big. It won't, or I ran out of Protectos. I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is uh, the Commando Dagger Force. Yeah, authentic action vehicles. Uh, movable parts, which I don't know what kind of part is on here that's movable, but uh, there you go, movable parts. Let's take a look at the back on this one. Oh, look at that. That's got uh, not just regular, uh, you know, tan uh, back. This has got a glossy printed back as well. That's that's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, you can get the uh, tank vehicle there and a rocket support transporter yeah police launch so there you go collect both forces 12 strike teams versus 12 dagger force wow and now uh, let's see what's the uh, date on this one here uh, 1988 so this one's older yet so but I've got some pretty nice uh, you know check out the playlist at the end there uh, matchbox uh, the 90s uh, like I say I, I still have to do a uh, uh, a whole step-by-step -step, uh, um, version of these. Here's another one that I paid big bucks for. Yeah, probably only $10, $15 shipping included was this one here. Very nice. This is the country and uh, with the uh, with the speedboat. Look at the motor on this thing. Boy, that bad boy probably flies in the lake the old swans better look out there yeah so anyway I almost had the uh, Bacardi one there's a Bacardi one that looks just like this and it says Bacardi rum you know like the rum and I almost had one of those but it uh, didn't work out oh I gotta get that one. Oh, that's a Le Car. that's not I thought that was a Range Rover but it's a Le Car. so here's the back of that beautiful uh, see they use that uh, over and over there let's see do we got a date on this one that we can see yeah 1990 is this now this is a bigger play set uh, I'm not really sure what these retail for in the store uh, but but pretty kind of neat uh, to have that on the card so like I say I'm still trying to uh, build a display now I do have um, one loose I bought one of these now I probably paid only five dollars for this one uh, a little chipped up like I say on uh, these sharp corners get pretty chipped up, but this is uh, This is that car Loose by itself. This one's got a little toning on that plastic top there, but uh, otherwise uh, Pretty nice example pretty nice example. So the last two that I want to show you for the uh, <laughs> Remember the unboxing? Yeah, look at that beauty can't wait to get that apart and redo it Here's one that uh, was really kind of hard to get a hold of. This is kind of a gem of mine. I really like this one. Uh, and like I say, I don't really know what year this one came out to. And uh, if you really want to see me do a, <laughs> I got to do a casting highlight of this casting. Uh, comment down below that you want to see that and I'll get it out. I'll get it out. I will. I promise you before 2020 is over. <laughs> Oh man, now we just time dated this, uh, time stamped this. But this is really kind of nice. It's got a belt line here, black with the red stripe, white white top. Really kind of cool. I really like that. Uh, a, a one that's really kind of hard to get a hold of. Not very popular. So, all right, for a special treat, I got one more here to show you on the card. Bam! Look at that boy. Yeah, the Crocodile Hunter. I bought this one in the wild, 349. Yeah, Steve Irwin. Yeah, I've missed that old chap. Uh, now, uh, this came with a set, and, and I think I've got the, uh, there was a helicopter, a chopper with it. 
uh, that you could get as well. Uh, not not a play set like this. Not a play set like this. I think they were individual cards. And uh, then there was a uh, Nissan Pathfinder. And I think I have that loose because I, I just found it. But anyway, so this is the Matchbox Collectibles, the Crocodile Hunter. And a very beautiful example. You know, I should have... Maybe I should have grabbed the loose one, you know, that probably would have been nice. But, uh, you know, what can I say? Uh, uh, maybe I can find it. I don't know. I don't know. But, oh, hey, hey, look at this. My beautiful assistant, uh, a.k.a. myself. <laughs> we found the uh, loose one. I got a loose example. Actually, I've, I've got a, quite a few, three or four of these, two or three, uh, those carded. But I also have a loose one. And so let's take a cut. Now this is really uh, why why it was 349 is because of these Chrome Goodyear Eagles. Look at those, but uh, really nice. And plus, I suppose the uh, copywriting uh, or the uh, uh, what do they call it? You know, they got to pay royalties, royalties to Crocodile Hunter. But nice little uh, Australian dust on there. Hey, crikey! Look at that rear license plate, crikey! Yeah, Steve Irwin, that was, he was quite a chap. But look at those meaty tires, boy, that bear, oh, look at that, they've got uh, detailing on the headlight and the turn signals, so this is a full gamut here, very nice tail lights in the back here, and that, and that beautiful, uh, crikey, I don't know what that top of that license plate say, I can't see it, but anyway, it says something on the top of that license plate, it says crikey. But uh, beautiful example, beautiful example. Well, let me show you while my uh, beautiful assistant uh, was out running around. So this was the um, the uh, Pathfinder that was for it. Nissan, oh, Xterra. Score, sorry, sorry. And uh, same uh, Goodyear tires, not, not the same size. But uh, yeah, it came with this little bugger. Now this one was kind of nice because this has an opening part to it. Yeah, Matchbox, got it. They, they actually released another one in their Moving Parts series. Now, this was back in the day. Uh, when is this? Oh, let's take a look at the back. We should have looked at the back. Way to go. Crikey! All right. Uh, so there's the back. You can freeze that. 2002, that was before uh, the old Crocodile Hunter passed on a unfortunate incident uh, while he was uh, snorkeling I believe it was snorkeling but uh, yeah 2002 so yeah very very cool model there they they did the whole uh, uh, package for that uh, Xterra and then it also they also had uh, this uh, chopper that uh, was uh, crocodile hunter as well so pretty neat so it's kind of nice to have that I got those set in my uh, loose cabinet there so uh but yeah there you go uh unboxing saturday i suppose i better show you that on the way out of here where we are already 13 minutes into it and we just opened one box and it was uh the uh matchbox <laughs> land rover 90 there you go all right make sure you give me a big thumbs up comment down below yeah tell me if you're ready to see a, a highlight on all my uh uh land rover 90s all in a series there that would be awesome wouldn't it all right make sure you go over to facebook roverland join up there and uh hey throw some pictures of your favorite land rover 90 and on instagram at uh, Roverland Channel. And there you go. Check it out. All right. This is your friend Dano saying adios. Remember, slow traffic, keep right. And have a wonderful day. Great rumor day.